All right, guys, so right now we're just going to do the cleaning of the surface right here real quick. Um, we're just going to use alcohol uh, wipe and then just make sure the surface is dry uh, before we do applying the, um, the logo on. Make sure it's completely dry. And uh, we we'll do the clean the surface up here too as well. Well, that not actually this piece we don't need to because on the bottom it has the that one. So we're gonna start this little silver. Put the silver piece on. See on the back, see if there's anything plastic wrap that we need to remove. Apparently not. The front side, the front side, it does have a little clear plastics. Just remove that and it's shiny. And the other back side, you just apply it on. Just make sure it's uh, level up and aligned. So. This is what it looks like. And just press it down because it's on the bottom, it has like sticky tape. Okay, one's done. Um, now we're just gonna pick our logo. Remember, this is the front side. So we're gonna find the big ones. We have this different, so let's get the, the big one. So the small one, this big one compared to the small ones. So it's just pretty much kind of laid out and see where it would fit. Perfect, like around, I would say around there. Yeah. Looks, looks good. Once like that and then just remove it. I might want to put a little bit of tape in between so that way I know, uh, maybe go lower a little bit, right there. That looks about right. Then you just apply it. So it doesn't have to be like perfect, perfect. So, just lined it up. Let's see it move it like this. Uh, let's see. Maybe here. I think that's good enough. Once it's down, just press it firmly. Just press it, press it all the way down. gonna remove it little stick there you go so as you gonna notice yeah and that's it you're just gonna have to do it to the all four and then you do the installations all right guys so uh, word of advice um, earlier when I apply one of these things right here um, the letter T was wrinkle so make sure when you lay it down make sure that all the sides are equal uh, spread out and a flat once it's wrinkled 
when you try to remove it, it's, you can't. You're, it, it's going to be messed up. So it's like pretty much lay flat, one shot. Uh, thank God uh, they uh, included, for the small ones, they included one extra one. And for the large one, they included extra large one. So as you can see here, the for the black decals, you got, all we need is just two big ones, but they give us three. And small ones, all we need is just two, but they give us one additional one. Same thing with the little, little silver uh, piece here too. We've got one additional. So thank God with the extra piece, otherwise it would have been messed up. So make sure to align this, You when you put it down, just make sure this is all flat. Make sure it's flat. If it's, if it's, because uh, once we remove the bottom layer of it, the top one is very flimsy. And it's, uh, if it's not laying flat and when you press it down, it, if it gets a wrinkle and then you, you try to remove it, it's done. Uh, OB, it doesn't. Uh, crooked, it's not nice anymore. But uh, yeah, just be really careful with it when you're applying it. Afterwards, just give some pressure and you'll look good to go. So right now, we're just gonna take it out and we're just gonna do the installations. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to the channel. In this video, uh, we're gonna do the uh, installation of the uh, calipers uh, that, I, uh, we, that I did an unboxing, uh, I think maybe one or two videos prior. But uh, this is what we're gonna put it in. All right, so I, it looks nice. I put the uh, the logo, the decals on already. So right now we're just gonna do uh, the, the actual installation. And I think it's uh, not that hard. So I'm gonna walk you through. So first off, we're gonna put like a, a piece of wood back here. Just so you know, the vehicle doesn't roll. Not that it would, but just for the safety. You can find a two by four or something, a, a brick or a rock, whatever, just to, for production and Tesla is a little bit different. You need this uh, jack uh, pot to uh, jack up the vehicle itself. And on the vehicle, on the very bottom of the frame, there's like four, uh, the fr two front and two back. There's like a, a little hole that you put this underneath. And then you, that's the jack point where you're gonna use to jack up the vehicle. Uh, make sure you're very careful with this because underneath here the with the EV vehicle There's a battery pack down there So you don't want to mess it up because once you mess up the battery pack it could cost you like you're into like maybe fifteen twenty thousand dollars to replace Okay, so be very careful with it. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick. It's right on over here and You can get these on Amazon. It's it's quite easy it's about, I think about twenty thirty dollars there's a hole right here on the frame. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you can't really miss it. It's, it's pretty much right, stick it in. And it has a little uh, seal that will hold it on top. Once it's in, uh, you just move your jack underneath and you start jacking it up. You can see that the uh, the uh, I say the the di and uh, not diameter but the 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 bigness of the the the, the jack pods. It's uh, my jack does not hit the frame of the Tesla, which is good. So what what the jack is pushing up is on the jack pods, which is which is what we want. Okay, so slowly. So here's the thing. Uh, for me, I have a lot of tools, so. I don't need to loosen up the uh, the lug nuts on the wheels, but if for those of you out there who doesn't have like uh, the impact <laughs> impact guns like this, you need to loosen the nuts first prior to lifting it up because if you don't, the wheel is gonna roll and it'll be impossible for you to loosen it. But with this the, with the impact gun, I can do it when it's on the floor uh, or when it's lifted. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna save me a little bit more time, but. You can do it without the uh, the impact gun. Well, this gun is really good. I love Rigid. I'm a Rigid fan. So, you guys like Rigid? I can put the link there for you guys to buy. You the Home Depot has a lot of them sales. So we're just gonna remove the hubcap section by section. Uh, quite easy. You just put your hand inside and just kind of pull it. Pull straight out. And just leave it on the side. All right. 
as you can see right there there's only five lug nuts not that hard especially when you use it with the uh the impact gun it's amazing i use it uh, earlier i tried it with my dewalt the, uh, the impact one but uh, it's not strong enough but this thing is a beast Break it like butter. <clears throat> I'm just gonna move the wheel out of the way. You don't have to lift it all the way up. Just lift enough where you can remove the, safely remove the, the wheel. So the way we install this is this. I'll show it to you guys one by one. So you guys will know. So this piece right here, they label for you L1. That means left. Uh, more uh, left this is the left front okay the other one is will be l2 and then it'll be right too and they stick it in right there it looks like it's designed for it to stay there it's perfect and the other ones you have two more it goes right there right there and right there okay so that's where it's gonna go. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. You gotta play with it a little bit, but I'll show it to you guys. So the back part, the front one is easy because it stays, but this one you gotta kind of like put it in and Okay, that one's kind of in, but this one now we gotta limit it. Okay, so we're gonna put it here. Put it like that and put it okay there we go that one top oh yeah it's kind of tricky when you put okay that one's in so do it again this one this one might fall okay there we go all right yep once you do that both of the ends you get these short screws like this uh, the good thing is this company provides you with all the hardware for the installation. So you can just lightly uh, screw it in and just kind of like wiggle it around to make sure that it's, it's in place. Sometimes it doesn't hit it yet. So let's see. Okay, and then you do the bottom one too. So you find it right there. Again, you, just, you don't need to tighten it really super hard yet. Just do it lightly to make sure everything's in place. And you go to the front, you do the same thing. You stick it in here and you're gonna screw it in. Just hope and make sure it goes into there. Too much for us to see. Once it's in, you just start lightly. The space is kind of limited. Kind of like wiggle it around, like the, the fitment for this is really good. It's, it's like, it's spot on. Uh, you can see it doesn't wiggles, which is what we want. But you know that they have like three screws on one on here and two in here. It's all safely secure everything. So just do this, tighten this.
So after you tied up all the, uh, the, the, the screws and the two over here, uh, you pretty much just kind of like wiggle it around just to make sure that it's all like spot in. Okay, make sure it doesn't wiggle. And you can see it's dead on. It's, oh my God, it, it looks gorgeous. All right, so that's pretty much it for the, uh, the front. Uh, the front of it uh, we're gonna go to the back and we're gonna do the back of it okay or uh, yeah pretty much it let's do the back I'm wrong, huh? So basically what you guys want to do is you guys make sure when we install this, you just kind of like uh, screw it in by hand because you don't want to like, you know, cross thread it. A lot of people like they use like the impact or the power tool. That's not the proper way to do it. You just want to, you know, screw it in by hand first and everything's in and you can use like the torque wrench to torque it down to the correct spec but this one is about 129 feet pound mm -hmm. saying once you hand tighten everything pretty much uh just gonna do like the torque it down and i usually do crisscross Once you're done, just make sure you check for clearance because remember the wheel will be spinning and make sure there's, you know, this company, when they designed this, they already figured out like the clearance of it already, but you can see it's, it doesn't touch the wheel because the wheel will spin, okay? But after when we're done with the installation, we're gonna take out for a test drive and then uh, make sure it doesn't squeak, it doesn't rattle, it doesn't give you any weird noises, right? But that's pretty much for the front. We'll put back the hubcap and then we're gonna move to the back. Can I thank you? Yeah, do you think so? Okay. So well, it doesn't hurt to uh, double check and it doesn't hurt to do it twice because you'd rather be safe than sorry. There we go from the outside. You can see the Red 
so you can see the uh the rear calipers it's a lot smaller than the front and the insulation wise uh, is different from the front as well it just come with you really need to put two uh two bolts uh, uh, two screws together so this one and this one so the way we do it is you put the r5 which is right five on top like this and then you put the other ones r5 and r4 like that and you just do this and put it like that cut it up and then you just lined up the screws okay so let's do this one it's kind of hard to screw it on my wife's gonna help me no yeah let me do this one first so you borrow the big one Okay, that one's in. Okay, so uh, the uh, the black piece, when you try to tighten it down, just make sure you use one of your fingers and kind of push it up so it can lean against the, the actual uh, caliber and then you just tighten it. And then right now, just tighten it a little bit, you know, make sure that it's hard. And right now, look, and once it's in, it's like, it's dead on. It's really good, like I said. Like the this company, the way they design it is like a perfect fit for everything. So that's pretty much it for the back. Okay, it looks a lot smaller, looks neater. We can slap on the wheel and we'll go for a test drive. This is the overall uh, look. Uh, after the installation completed, we did the, the test drive. Uh, no rattle, no, no squeakies which is good, uh, no no vibrations. That's what we want uh, after this kind of install. Uh, let me guys, tell me, wh wh what do you guys think? Okay, so uh, pretty much for this installation, what you need is a uh, Tesla jackpot. These one, you can get it from Amazon, I would say about 25 or 30 bucks. Uh, if you guys need, I'll list it on the, the link in my descriptions. And uh, for myself, you really don't need the impact gun, but I have it. So why not, you know, I use this, but if not, you can just use like a, a extension, a half inch. And then you need a 21 millimeter socket uh, to uh, loosen it and to open it. And then you just need a floor jack. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And the other uh, tools, hardware, it came with the, uh, with, the, with the kit itself. So that's pretty much all you need. All right, so thanks for watching.